Well, welcome back. I love science, especially when Katie Blake explains it. And this morning, we're learning about the density of liquids by making a rainbow in a jar. That's right. Katie Blake joins us in studio to demonstrate this week's Katie Science Lab. And we've just now, in the last few seconds, learned you now have a new assistant, Katie. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. You thought there was anticipation when there was like a new bachelor or bachelorette. Right. New assistant. David, thank you. Quick, David, what is the formula for density? Density equals what over what? Have we had that in class yet? Fail. Mass over volume. <laughs> You're fired. What did they teach you guys at Texas Tech? <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. See what you did. All right. We're off to a rough start, but we're going to get going here. Hopefully this gets better. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we are going to see how the different densities of different liquids affect how they stack up in our little jar here. So what we've done and what you will need is either a clear jar, I've just got a mason jar here. You can also do a clear plastic cup. You'll need some food coloring. Third week in a row with food coloring really comes in handy here. You'll need just some water, some, and then some different liquids, and you can do a lot of different things here. So I don't have all these here on the table, but I do have vegetable oil. We've got corn syrup and olive oil, but you could add in rubbing alcohol, honey, dishwashing liquid, anything like that to see how the different densities stack up, literally. So I've already mixed the food coloring in with our different liquids, and now we're gonna start to pour into the jar. David, you ready? We're gonna start Go with ahead. water. Go, go ahead. <laughs> Such a great assistant, David. <laughs> He's so hands-on. <laughs> That's why he was hired. Okay, let's do a little more water. I think that's good. That's enough. Did you bring paper towels or something? Yeah, we got those here. Oh, okay, oh, good. No. See, everybody. Good job. Look at it, mission accomplished already. Just in case. Thank you, all right. So we've got our water. <laughs> now we're gonna do the vegetable oil. And here's where you'll, you'll be able to start to see to see the different separation there, right? So we've mm -hmm. got a little yellow on top it's, now with the red. It's happening. That's trash. David. Are you only, am I supposed to hold that? Okay. Just this is this is the trash, trash, David. Okay. Follow the cues, David. We're going to add in some olive oil. And when I was doing a, a test run, because you should always do test runs with experiments, right, right David? The olive exactly. oil, it goes, it goes to the top, and it's not necessarily as easy to see there. Ew, looks a little going well. Yeah. You didn't mix those very well. <laughs> Just kidding. I did that. All right. So now we've got we've got a more like a yeah, yellow and red. All right. This is this is the cool one though. This is the corn syrup and watch what happens when we put the corn syrup in here. Where does it go? Ooh, why is it so heavy? Wow. Because it's more dense. what? Dense. dense. Oh, that's right. Yes. We want to go on density. Blech. So it goes all the way to the bottom and it may take, so when you're putting these different colors in here, it may take some time for them to kind of separate and sift down. <laughs> this green down there is a really- Wait, is this the lava yeah. lamp or the rainbow? Yeah, that's a tough time. <laughs> the colors of the rainbow are. <laughs> yeah, apparently just yellow and green. I did this last night and the corn syrup went all the way down to the bottom. What mm. did you do? What did <laughs> Anyway, David, so, you just got hired. What the heck? <laughs> this is fun though because you can take, you know, more liquids than this. Try the dish soap. Try um, the rubbing alcohol, and you know, make them different colors with the food coloring and see how their different densities change. That red, the water, and the corn syrup really—they just got all mm -hmm. all mixed up down there. But you can try, dump all it, all of it out, try over again, and and see what different combos you can make. Density and mass. Yeah. So the more dense the liquid, it's going to sink to the bottom. The less dense will be on the top. What is density? What over what? Oh, <laughs> David, again? Mass over volume. Mass over volume. I'm sorry. This is not. I knew. Yeah. I knew this is, just, I'm just the assistant. Not the prettiest rainbow ever. You are the scientist. But the <laughs> all of the instructions and ingredients you need are on ksat.com. Go to the ksat. Kids section. My mic's right there. <laughs> <laughs> my, my mic's under my Anyone lap. else would like to be my assistant? Send in your audition reels. Wow, somebody just got fired oh, on live TV. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was brutal. Good David. job, David. Uh, no, no, no. Do great job, David. That was great. Yeah. The goggles definitely helped. Mm -hmm. no and what did you add last? The one that's, that sank the furthest? That was the corn the syrup? The corn syrup. Okay. Yeah. So just to be noted. Gobbly goop down there. Gobbly goop. Mm -hmm. When do we get to like have some smoke and fire? You're not allowed to um, just wait until Halloween time. 
until pumpkin spice season. Mm, practice mm -hmm. makes perfect, guys. Katie, David, thank you guys.